Hi guys, today's video is going to be a Fabletics review. I don't know about you, but I cannot get away from adverts for Fabletics on my social media and it's been overly, overly, overly saturated in terms of sponsorships and affiliates and all of that stuff. And more than anything, I just wanted to know, is it just a complete scam? So let's start with the first big thing um, that a lot of people don't know when they uh, kind of go into this. This is a membership subscription service. This is something that you are going to pay for every single month unless you choose to skip or cancel your membership. This is not like a one-time deal. They're advertising the two for £24 leggings. That's a really, really great deal. Amazing. The quality of the leggings, great. But you're not just buying leggings. It's a bit like the Just Fab. I believe they're all part of the same umbrella or under the same umbrella where you think you're buying something for a really good deal and a good number of people don't realise that they've actually signed up to a subscription. They don't think about cancelling, they don't think about skipping the next month. It goes out of their account before they even realise what's happening. You've already signed up to it, there's nothing you can do, they're not going to give you a refund um, and so you're kind of tied in. You can cancel whenever you want and cancellation is really, really easy. You can do that online, you don't have to make a phone call, which is how I originally um, was kind of led to believe that was the situation, you don't actually have to make a phone call at all. But my experience wasn't fantastic and I'm going to share a little bit of how I kind of found the service and overall kind of my thoughts towards the end of this video. But I'm going to throw you back in time right now to when I first originally got my first parcel. I was very excited. I'm going to tell you who um, originally told me about this and like pushed me over the edge to actually purchase the stuff. Um, and then we'll get back to kind of whether or not this is worth it and who might actually want this subscription. The first strange thing is there's no invoice in the back. There's no receipt. I can't see anything where you would need to keep it to return anything. There's this little booklet leaflet thing, which is basically just more advertising for Fabletics. Welcome to Fabletics, blah, blah, blah. Um, a little promo code thing inside that's £30 off of £100 spend. Before I forget, I did watch a review from Laura Hall. I'm going to link that below. Um, very, very informative, not affiliated with Fabletics, which was difficult to find a review that wasn't, or even a review that was like intentionally contrary. So you got very, very positive sponsored reviews, and then you had loads of videos that I felt like they were going out of their way to find fault because of like to, to automatically redress the balance. I don't know. Um, whereas Laura seemed to be relatively um, measured and she really put this stuff to the test. So if you're interested in another review, I'll link that below. Um, I was particularly interested in their power hold leggings. So I got two. They didn't have tons of stock, which was disappointing. Obviously I would have liked some other colors as well. These are beautiful. I love this color. It's not, it's coming up way lighter on camera. It's kind of like, um, it's just amazing. It's like a neon coral, but very, very bright. Uh, that I don't think is going to come across very well on camera at all. And these are the high-waisted power hold 7 8 which is a little bit shorter, which is what I like, kind of like ankle grazers. And then these, where is the label for these? Fell off in the bag. Um, I'll tell you something strange. So these appear to be the same things. They both say exactly the same thing. High-waisted power hold 7 8 Um... I, I don't believe that they are any different from each other. They have got slightly different information. So the grey ones say internal waistband pocket for key card, high rise waist with slimming, power mesh lining for compression. And the other one doesn't say all of the same thing. It's, it, I'll show you the, the labels. Just ever so slightly different, but the prices are different. And I think they were the same. I don't know. I always feel like it's a bit of a con with this kind of thing. Because I'm looking to see whether or not this has got like a little pocket. Yeah, this, the pink ones have got the pocket as well, so I think they're the same. Um, I always think it's a bit of a con with anything where it's their own brand where they say, well, it's worth this amount of money, but we're gonna give you it for this. But is anyone really buying it for like $70? I don't know. So the gray ones are $70. The pink ones are 60. What makes them different, I don't know. Um, then I also got a sports bra, which I thought was really cute. Would have preferred black, but no stock. And this is supposed to be, ah, now this one's got 44.95 euros and 40 pounds. So this one 
has obviously got a more European specific label, which again is strange. Where are these things actually physically sold in stores? I don't know. And I got um, a little tank, which is shorter than I thought it was gonna be. This again is um, a European label. So this is 39.95 in euros and 35 pounds. And this is this, so the little tank, which is quite short. I actually bought this. This was what pushed me over the edge um, for my free shipping. I bought this to go specifically with um, shorts. I wasn't thinking of that as like something I would wear with leggings at all because I like my, I like my vagina to be covered, to be honest. When I'm wearing leggings, that is what I prefer. Whether or not I'll feel differently in these ones will tell. Will tell, time will tell, we shall see. And then this is the, the little crop top, which I think is quite cute. I'm not really gonna be doing anything really heavy duty. I think that's like a medium hold. Then, this is what the leggings look like. Just, you know, they look like leggings, totally plain. And the gray ones. The material, so it says that they are moisture wicking. Presumably that means that they absorb. I don't know what that means, but they're very heavy. The waistband especially feels very heavy. Um, very thick feeling. Remind me a lot of the Victoria's Secret ones that I've got. The black and white crazy pattern that I absolutely adore. Um, that are very, very flattering. They like really suck me in. And I think they are around 70 pounds, but I got them like half price in the sale. So I'm gonna put a pair on and come back to you. Okay, so um, I would say, I mean, I, not so much where I am in the mirror, but I can see in the viewfinder. Not mm, in the paler colour. I think in, in, in like a dark colour, in a black or whatever, it would be better. Um, however, in this, and especially I'm imagining in the pink or the coral, this area is, is not, is kind of shadowed. Now this is where my C-section scar is. So I have kind of like a, I, I describe it as like if it looks like a rubber band. So I've got an indent there, which is my problem area. It's not really a problem area, there's nothing I can do about it. But it's the only area that I am a little bit self-conscious of is that, that you can see. So it makes this even more pronounced because there's like this line there. It's not really a major, major issue. Um, these feel very, very, like they feel flattering, is that a thing? They feel, they feel flattering, they do. They make me feel good. Um, and they smooth everything out. I, I feel good about that. This is an area where usually I feel like I've got a little paunch and I think that it looks better than it usually does. So I would say, power hold, I'm really feeling it. This, now it's not usually a pro, I don't have a major issue with um, like seeing through stuff. Uh, it's not something like, I frequently I can wear like vest tops and stuff without a bra. With this, I feel like you can kind of make things out. The white underneath, for sure, if you didn't have the gray on top, you can fully see through it. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm likely not to wear this outside of the house or without a top on top of it, so it's not really a big deal. But I would have preferred a dark color again. Uh, otherwise, I really like it. Like, I, I love the style of both of the things. These are super comfortable. They're so like soft. Um, like Laura said in her video, they've got kind of like a slightly, I don't know what she said, if it was like a furry feel or they've got kind of that soft touch. Not loads and loads, but they have got that almost slightly brushed feeling. So I like these, I really do. Just to show you, this is the top. This is not. This like <laughs> gets rid of any shape that I've got in my gin. This now just makes me like this, no, <laughs> it's not for me. But I would like this with some like high-waisted little denim shorts. I think this is cute. Um, and I bought everything. This seems larger though. No, it is a medium. I was gonna say I bought everything in a medium. I did, I did buy everything in a medium. And I am pretty much a 12, like everywhere. Um, so I would say, dependent on body shape, medium, 12, pretty good. In terms of wear, they really are some of the nicest leggings that I own. Um, I've got the grey and the pink. They're not the most wearable colours. They were the only ones that really were available at the time in the right sizes for me. Um, but I, I have to say, very, very comfortable. Um, they are on a par with my Victoria's Secret Sport leggings, which are so expensive. I bought some in the sale and they are my favourite, favourite leggings. You may have seen them before. They're like black and white patterned. Love. And um, in terms of like quality, you really... They are great. They wash really nicely. They haven't gone bobbly or anything yet. I've washed them 
three or four times at this point a piece and they really are nice leggings and if you are someone that lives in athleisure wear or you work out all the time you're constantly at the gym maybe this is something that actually would be a benefit to you because when the sales are on when the deals are on you can get more of the stuff that you're wearing on a regular basis at a discounted price at a really really good quality products like they are decent quality products now these have just arrived I didn't actually anticipate buying another set this month, um, but I'll tell you what happened. I thought I had skipped my month, and I hadn't. Um, user error, I hadn't skipped the month. I'm going to assume that that was what it was, because when I contacted them to ask why I'd had money taken, um, they told me that it hadn't registered that I'd skipped a month, and I should have had a confirmation email to confirm that I'd skipped. So fair enough, that's not their fault, and the customer service that I received was actually pretty good. Um, the main problem that I found was I got an email saying I had credit. That was my first notification that, oh, okay, maybe I hadn't skipped a month after all. I checked online and I couldn't see the credit. So I thought, well, maybe it was an accidental email. I know I skipped. Clearly something went wrong in this process. I know I skipped and, you know, I, I don't know what happened because there's no credit there. There are actually two pots of money for credit on the Fabletics website. There's one that is just credit and there's one that I believe was called something like VIP membership funds or I forget two different amounts and one said zero the credit was zero and then it had a VIP membership one that's not clear that is not clear at all and unfortunately I didn't realize I'd signed up with PayPal but I did sign up with PayPal and um, so I didn't even see money go out of my account when I looked at the email I was like I'll check my bank account no no money's gone out so it must have been a mistake two weeks later I didn't realize I had funds in my PayPal account and it had just gone out and I didn't realise. So that was £45, very frustrating because I hadn't found anything this month that I really wanted on the website that was in my size and I hadn't planned on um, purchasing my credit or, you know, letting it run. I was kind of thinking, I'm going to skip it and then I'm going to cancel at some point this month. That was my plan. So extra frustrating because I actually hadn't planned on doing that. But then I had this credit that I had to use. So I was in the online chat, I was prepared to cancel, and the woman said to me, well, before you cancel, you should really spend your credit because if you don't spend it now, then once you've canceled, you'll still have the credit, it doesn't expire, but you won't be able to get any of the deals or any of the offers, any of the discounts. I was like, right, fine, okay. So I'm looking online at these deals and discounts and finding these things that were actually a pretty good deal. Like I'd found some um, sports bras and things that were, I thought, well, I'm going to be able to get a few things. These offers are really good. Starting to rethink this, starting to think, actually, it's not such a bad deal after all. Maybe not such a scam. <laughs> it's even worse than I originally thought because you cannot spend your VIP membership credits on those mega deals. You can either have the mega deal and spend cash or you can use your VIP membership credit and just get this like standard discount off the things that is on all of the time. So if they're doing some amazing kind of 50% off, you can't get that. Now, in, in my mind, if I'd skipped that month and then seen one of these deals, then I think what I could have done is still take advantage of those deals because I'd have been paying cash. I'm not sure. If you guys, if one of you guys actually subscribes to this and you use it all the time, please let me know because I couldn't really get a definitive answer on that online. Um, but it just, it really put me off to see the difference, to see that this is still cash. This is still, I'm still spending my money on your website, I'm still part of this subscription service, but you're not allowing me to use that cash for these deals, that really put me off. And any kind of goodwill, any kind of moment of maybe I'll keep this and just continue to make sure that I skip 100% I'm not now, I will be going on later on today to cancel that service with the online chat. I'm happy that that will work, I'm happy that um, that service that I received and the, the communication was really really great and I didn't have to make the phone call that I thought I was going to have to make but I really it just kind of bad taste in my mouth a little bit so um, initially the reason that I had decided to skip the month was because nothing came up online that looked like it was going to be kind of worth it for the credit so you spend a £45 credit and um, I didn't want to then spend £45 on one pair of leggings after I've had two for 24 it just didn't make sense to me um, so I was looking at like sales and things and thinking, well, there's just nothing right now that I want to spend that money on. But when I came to cancel and she said, maybe you should spend your credits, suddenly a new outfit appeared, um, in my size and it was black 
and I just can't help but feel that perhaps that wasn't a coincidence. So I got this little crop top sports bra. It's a lightweight sports bra. It's quite cute. It's got really thick, elasticy um, straps that are adjustable. And then these, now this is supposed to be 40 pounds, I think. This is supposed to be 40 and these are supposed to be 44 and I got the set for 45. Now if these, these prices are to be believed, um, I got a good deal. But also given that the Victoria's Secret ones that I would compare them to were like 70 pounds, I do actually think these are a pretty good deal if you are in the market for sportswear. I got them both in a medium and these ones, unlike the other ones that I got, are sink high-waisted perforated, seven eighths again, moisture wicking, breathable, chafe free, supportive high-rise waist, move easy, seamless fabric. I'm going to put these on in a second and we'll see what they're like. But you've got that kind of mega hold waist again, that very, very stretchy but firm waist. Um, but they're a, a kind of a thinner material and they've got some like patterned stretch on the backs of the knees. So we'll see what they look like. But that's what I've purchased and um, I was happy that that basically just took out my credit. So I didn't have to pay any more money than my credit was that was in there already and I don't have any leftover that I feel like I'm going to be having to spend more to make sure that I've used up all my credit, you know what I'm saying. Um, so that it feels like a clean break. So these don't feel quite so much like they hold me in here. There's, these are just like regular stretch here. They are like super tight, the, the sucky in is, is here rather than in the area that I would want it. But as I said previously, I would never wear leggings where <laughs> this part wasn't covered. I would always have something, but I do feel almost like, because this like super, super tight, it's not tight, but like firmer hold you in type material is here. It almost exaggerates this little, this little pouch. I don't know, <laughs> that's what I feel like, but they're very, very comfortable. Um, I thought this was around the backs of the knees, but this is the pattern that I was talking about. It's cute, it's cute. I wasn't sure whether or not I would like kind of a pattern in leggings, but I would happily wear these with my oversized jumper. To do the school run, let's be real, that's as often as I'm wearing leggings right now. Um, I have been doing a little bit of exercise, a little bit, a little bit, not a lot. Um, pretty much immediately, as soon as my Fabletics arrived, I hurt my leg I think it was just just as my um, order had been placed I hurt my leg so I stopped basically doing anything that I'd got any motivation to do whatsoever but in the past week I have started doing a bit of Joe Wicks with Lee of an evening because I am horribly unfit and I found that my joints like my hips my knees I'm like an 80 year old woman the stuff is comfortable it's comfortable it feels like good quality stuff cannot deny that if you are into sportswear, if this is like what you wear, then I think it's pretty good in terms of the discounts that you get. Um, for the average person, I would say, take the two for 24 and run. Um, you could always sign up with a different email address. That's all I'm saying. Uh, it's just not, it, it's not something that I think is gonna be useful for most people. And it's something that once I was in it, I realised that in the same way that I do with my FabFitFun box, just to be completely transparent, I talk about FabFitFun, I pay for my FabFitFun box, however, occasionally, if enough people also buy FabFitFun boxes through my code, my FabFitFun box will be free, because several people have used my code and I get an affiliate marketing credit. Now, it, there's loads and loads and loads of things like this now, tons of brands are making this a thing and it's a clever way of making it's like almost like making everything um a multi-level marketing brand uh, because people are selling to people and it's it's working but it's also something to always be aware of if someone is giving you an affiliate code there is something in it for them if you then go on to purchase those things so if they are saying if, if they are um, sharing a code and you are buying through them and they're buying new things all the time or they're being sent new things all the time would they be doing that if they weren't having so many credits from other people and there is then a bit of a grey area ethically when it comes to promoting that to friends followers etc because is it really worth it would you really spend 45 pounds on those leggings 
Or do you want other people to spend £45 on loads of leggings so that you don't have to? Are you with me? Um, and that is coming from someone who uses the exact same marketing uh, tool for something that, like, I do that myself. I feel good about that because I know for a fact that I would purchase and have purchased my FabFitFun full price myself, no problem. Um, however, I do always think that it's worth noting that. And I think that that is quite possibly why this has become so massive, because people are promoting it to each other in order to get their own credits. That's all I'm saying. Now, I'm cancelling my membership, so you use whatever link you want because there's no benefit for me if you choose to use a link of mine. Um, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I would love to hear from you um, what your experiences have been. And if you did, did just do the two for £24 then cancel it, was it easy? I'm pretty much doing that a month later. Um, so I, I assume it's going to be easy and I would still recommend people do that because two for 24 pounds, if you can get the right leggings for you, it's a good deal. They are nice leggings. If you drop on, if you kind of go onto the website and you happen to find um, a couple of things that you like in your size, go for it. Two for 24 pounds is a steal. Beyond that, I don't think it really is. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I promise I will never make any more fitness content and I will see you guys next time.